Hey, this is Eddie here at Wonderlish, and today we're going to be demonstrating our universal crossbar on this F900XR. The universal crossbar comes in two lengths. It either comes in 250 millimeter or 300 millimeter, and they both have a 25 millimeter range. It can really accommodate any tubular bar on the market. Both lengths are offered in silver and black, and they come with a variety of spacers, and we'll get more into that when I show you how we install it. A couple benefits to having a crossbar on your bike is for one, is you're gonna be adding a little bit of strength and rigidity to your bike, especially like if you're riding off road and you're going through a pothole or going through a rut, it's just gonna strengthen them up a little bit, but more importantly, it gives you a great place to mount any kind of like electronic device or accessory that you want on your bike. It's just a great place to put it on your bike. It's in your field of vision. It's up off the handlebar and it just also looks great. So let me go ahead and just show you how easy it is to install and then we'll go ahead and show you how we mount a phone on here. All right, for this install, we went ahead and we opened up the box and got everything laid out. For this install, we're gonna need a T25 Torx, a 13 millimeter wrench and a measuring device like these calipers. This is something that we offer on our website comes in handy when you're doing stuff like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be measuring on the bar where our crossbar's gonna attach. And then we're, since this is a tapered tubular bar, we're gonna wanna measure where the taper is in this particular application. So I'm gonna say we're gonna be right about, right about there. So we'll take a caliper, we're gonna make a measurement. So this one looks right about 25 millimeters. It is tapered, so there is a little play. The kit comes with four different size spacers. So you have 22 millimeter, which you could even fit that on an old vintage BMW motorcycle. You have 22, 25.5, 28.5, and 30 millimeter handlebar. So really, you can really mount this on any motorcycle regardless of make or model that has a traditional style handlebar on it. This application, we're gonna be using the 25.5 rubber spacers. Let's get these laid out. Should be four in the bag, two for each side. Take your T25. We're gonna loosen up this little pinch bolt here and just remove it completely. And you can see that this piece is hinged and that these rubber pieces only go in one way. The small end goes towards the buckle or the hinge rather. Go ahead and just stick them in. Make sure everything's closing right. There we go. Okay, so now we got a nice fitment. So right now we're gonna be removing our uh, Sport bag, get a little more room to work with. So we'll go ahead and take our hinged buckle and we're gonna wrap it around the bar. And you wanna wrap it in such a way where you're gonna be able to get to the head of the fastener. So I'm gonna wrap it something like that. You can go ahead and just kinda let that hang out there. So we get the other one in. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one off, T25. Go ahead and reinstall the crossbar into the, uh, into the buckle. Okay, and then we'll assemble the other buckle with the spacers. You just wanna make sure too, you know, you got them in, just close them, make sure you got a good fitment. And we'll go ahead and reinstall them. So you'll notice when you get it on, this is a turnbuckle here, so you can really get a full adjustment on this thing, depending on which way you turn it. So we probably want to go a little taller, so you can just loosen up the turnbuckle, get everything straight. Looks pretty good there, but then we can go ahead and uh, tighten down these pinch bolts on the buckles. Get that all set. 
And then with this turnbuckle, we can actually just add a little tension on it. Just a little tension, and then we can go ahead and lock these nuts in place. And these nuts are, you're just gonna require a 13 millimeter open end wrench. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to install. And let me go ahead and just show you some of the cool things that we can do with this crossbar installed. So I went ahead and installed our SP Mirror Mount Pro. Um, this thing works really good with our crossbar and it just gives you a great place to mount your phone if you're the type of rider that likes to ride with his phone for your navigation or just listening to tunes while you're riding. Um, you can see with this crossbar installed, it gives you a great place to lock your phone in place. And really it's, Capabilities are kind of endless as long as you can get something mounted onto that crossbar. So there you have it. There is our crossbar, universal, offered in 250 millimeter and 300 millimeter with a 25 millimeter range. We offer them both in silver and black and they can be found on our website. If you have any questions or would like any more product information, please visit the link in the description below. Thanks a lot and we'll see you on the road.